Alright, what is up guys? It is me, United Scouts America, and I'm back again with another video. And today we are here for our first um, tech video, basically, on this channel. If you haven't seen the video from a few days ago, I made a video of basically a channel update talking about how I'm going to be posting new types of content on my channel, and the main uh, new thing that I'm going to be posting, besides Skylanders, so I guess this would be the second main thing I'd be posting, um, is tech videos, basically. So that's something that I'm very interested in, and I wanted to bring it over to my channel, so... Um, yeah, that's basically the first video for today, uh, the first video on this channel, um, in terms of, like, tech content, is a what's on my iPhone. I don't know if you guys have heard of these types of videos before, um, but basically, uh, what they are is you just, I just basically show you all the apps on my phone, and there's a lot of apps on here. I mean, a lot. So basically guys, this is a gold iPhone 6S, 64 gigabytes, so I can hold a pretty decent amount of uh, storage on here. I can hold, you know, at least one movie, um, as many songs as I want, as many photos as I want, and pretty much as many apps as I want. I'm pretty free. And I also have 200 gigs of storage uh, through iCloud, so 200 gigs a month. So that's also plenty of room for me to store anything I really want. Um, so yeah. Basically, we're going to go ahead and go through all the apps on here. Um, I don't know how long it will take, but, you know, it should be pretty, pretty... Now, one thing you should note before I start it, I do not ever, ever, ever delete apps. Once I get it, it's on my phone until I get another phone, and then I will actually do, like, the whole, like, transfer from iPhone to iPhone. So, like, and if I stop using them, it's, like, sometimes people will be like, I haven't used this app for months, it's time to delete it. I just keep it there, because you never know, because I go through phases, the reason I do this is I go through phases of like, alright, so I'm not going to use this app for like a few months because it got boring, but then I go back and I use it again, it's like, so, yeah, see what I mean there? So that's kind of why I, uh, kind of why I just keep the apps on there instead of deleting them, it's kind of stupid, I know, waste of space, waste of time, and yeah, but anyways, we're going to get into it right now. So starting off, basically all my apps are on one page. It might look like I don't have that many apps, but let's just tell you the utilities folder right here, there's plenty of applications in there. And yes, I noticed that's 1,000 notifications. I just don't open my iFunny stuff because I don't like the app anymore. Um, but anyways, so Instagram, that's pretty much, it's Instagram. What can I say? It's, these are my doc, my, my docked items are my four main, mainly used items, so, you know, I, they're easy, to, they're really easy to access, you know, I'm able to get to them, like, within, just like, they're, they're right there, they're the first thing when I open my phone, it's the first thing on there that I see, so, Instagram, Messages, Snapchat, and YouTube, those are my four main used apps, those are, you know, YouTube, of course, is what you're watching this on, Snapchat, uh, I'm sure you guys at least heard of it, or if you were watching this right now, I'm pretty sure you have a Snapchat, I don't know. And then of course messages, you know, it's just text messages. Um, now, as you guys can see, I have 13 unfolderized, I don't folderize, 13 apps on my phone, not in the dock, but they're not in folders. And those are my, I guess, secondary mainly used apps. So, yeah. Um, easier to get to instead of going into the folder, opening it, having maybe to swipe a page over, you know? So, that is why I kind of just have these 13 apps right here, uh, easy to access as well. So mail, you know, my email, I gotta check that a couple times, maybe at least twice a day. Clear the stuff, the junk out, you know, save the important stuff, which usually isn't that much because I honestly just subscribe to a bunch of stuff and I just have to delete emails all the time. So um, music, you know, I always listen to music constantly. I have a lot of, I buy music off iTunes. I'm not that big of an uh, Apple Music fan or Spotify, iHeartRadio, and that stuff. I kind of use iHeartRadio sometimes. I know that's really old, but I still kind of tend to use that from time to time. And I have Spotify, but I don't recall ever using it. So, um, you know, I really just buy music off iTunes for some reason. I just, it's kind of old school, but whatever. The home app, if you guys aren't aware what that is, Basically, it kind of encompasses all the different uh, smart lighting, smart home products, their apps into an Apple app. So it's by Apple, and you can just say, hey Siri, um, turn my lights off. Oops. I don't know if you guys could tell the change in lighting of a second there, but it's basically these three lamps, and then this lamp that you guys see, right, this light right here is my lighting umbrella, so 
you know, a, that actually can't be smart lights um, because it's used for film. Those aren't really bright enough. The smart lights aren't bright enough. But um, I'm trying to go all smart lighting. For now, I just have three bulbs, uh, one colored one and two plain white ones for Philips Hue. Eventually, I'm going my plans for this room for Philips Hue. So, um, yeah, basically, we're going to get tech in this room out with... Um, Philips Hue lights and stuff, so it's going to be super cool. Anyways, moving on, so Skype, I'm sure you guys have heard of it. I love Skype, I use it all the time um, to, you know, video ch chat my friends or just as a messaging, instant messaging platform. Um, you can add me on Skype. Uh, I typically don't um, Skype people, I, like, unless I, like, know you personally or just know you as a friend online. Um, I typically don't Skype, but I do message so you can add me, it's on the screen, United Sound of America. Um, Fitbit, so that I can sync my Fitbit, I don't exercise enough, but you know, I can sync my Fitbit to here, so my Fitbit doesn't die as often, um, and you know, I can check my step, keep track of my steps, keep track of what time, the times I do exercise, um, and then log my food, but I don't typically do that either. Um, Twitter, I don't use that much, I should use it more, um, but you know, Twitter, it's probably, I at least go on there three times a week or so. So, um, yeah, so there's Twitter. Um, like I said, I probably should use it more because typically, like, it's a really easy way to act, to, like, message me, to get a hold of me. Um, so, you know, that the app store, I mean, I, <laughs> I at least download at least one to two new apps a week. So, you know, app, app store, um, I always have to have that. Easily accessed Safari, that's my main browser. I mean, I, I, I typically if I want to look something up, I use the Google search app, but if I open a link that somebody sends me, I typically automatically opens in Safari, so, you know, Safari's there in case I need to use that. Uh, the phone app and the FaceTime app, that's pretty self-explanatory, I would think. The phone app just makes phone calls and receive them. FaceTime, video calls, new Apple devices. Uh, iTunes store to buy new music, typically maybe one, like, it's, it's, it's about the same thing as, um, apps. I probably get like one to two new songs a week maybe. Uh, photos app and that is something I use ten times a day at least. Um, to check my photos. If I, if I screenshot something I want to post it. Maybe I want to edit it, crop it up a little bit. So, or just I can easily airdrop it to my computer. Different types of things in the photos app. Very useful. The memories that they have in, for iOS 10 I think, I think it came out in iOS 10. Um, very very useful. And then the settings app. I don't even know if you guys realize, but the settings app is so useful. I use it all the time. I literally use the settings app all the time because, like, you use the settings app more than you think. Like, of course, you can swipe up and you got a few things that you can do, but I think the settings app is pretty useful because a lot of the time you just, I don't know, you just want to change something. All right, I'm not going to talk about the settings app anymore. <laughs> For the first folder on here, we're going to start out with the Google app. So, basically, here's my Google um folder so we have the Google search app like I said I use that like very often like that's just how I search things on the internet so you know that's basically what I typically use for just like a browser Google Docs basically what that is is you can you know it's like word or pages for the Mac where you can make uh, documents and sh actually share them with people uh, and if you have if you're a student and you have Google classroom which is right here you can, you know, make your document there and then, um, like, sync it with Google Classroom and actually turn it in online to your teachers. Um, it's a very useful thing. I use Google Docs all the time, and that's where all of my scripts are written, so... And the thing is, it syncs through all your devices as long as you have Google Docs. So if I type up a script on here, which this is actually not scripted, most of my videos are, if I type up a script on here, I can actually read it off of here. It'd be easier to get it, um, but my tablet actually doesn't have the Google app, do Google Docs on it so um, it'd be easier with a bigger screen but you know I can read it off my phone. The Google Drive I typically use a lot as well it's a great place to store your stuff again you can share it with anybody they can download it to their computer or their phone or whatever um, store your files online as well and you get like 15 gigabytes or something I think you have to pay more after that and then classroom like I said that's where I can uh, turn in assignments online to my teachers and they can grade it right from there and put it, it's really, really useful instead of, you know, having to print it out, take it into school the next day, you know, waste ink, waste paper, but, um, Google Authenticator, you may be wondering what that is, basically if you have this thing uh, enabled on your Google account, it's called two-step verification, 
what it does is there's a code in there. I'm not I was going to open it up because then you're going to get my code and if eventually you get my password, then yeah. Um, but basically, it's a code that once you enter your password in, you actually have to go in and um, put another code in from this app so it can only be accessed on my phone. But um, there's a lot of easier ways to do it, like you can just get a text verification, so that's why I don't really use the app very much. Google Plus, nobody uses it, <laughs> but it's on there in case I do want to use it for some reason. The times that I've used the Google Plus app, I probably could count on one hand. So, yeah. But, you know, hey, it's there, like I said. The Hangouts app I use a little more often, but still not very much. Uh, the only time I really use Hangouts is if, for some reason, a fan only has like a Google account and they want to message me. That's a way they can do that as well. Um, Google Slides is basically like Docs, only it's like PowerPoints and presentations. It's basically the exact same thing, though. I use it a lot, I would say, during the school year. Uh, Google Chrome, I don't really use very much because you have Safari on your phone already, and then like you already have the Google search app. It's like, you don't really need Chrome, but you know, it's there in case I want it. Um, I don't know if I ever got like an iPad or something, and maybe it would be more useful then, but we'll see. Uh, the Google Maps app, again, I don't really use, but actually my mom does when she uses my phone for some reason if she wants to navigate. She doesn't know how to use the Apple Maps. She always gets frustrated when she's driving and she tries to use my phone to navigate. So I have the Google Maps app there in case she wants to use that since she is a Samsung phone user. So. Gmail. Don't really use it because all my mail is synced in my regular mail application. So, you know, Gmail's kind of not there, although all of my accounts are Google. I mean, I have some other domains, like my school email is like a different domain, but it's through Google, so. Google Photos. I don't even know what it is. I just heard it was cool, and I guess it's just a way where you can store your photos online and share with people, but it just, I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Google Calendar is, it can be useful. The only reason I really have it is so I can see like when my mom works and stuff. So I can see like when, basically she'll put in my upcoming events that I have going on and I can just, you know, see that it's synced through our devices, but it's really not like, and last but not least, Google Sheets is again, it's like docs and slides, only it's for, uh, it's like Excel, you know, spreadsheets and stuff, that kind of thing. So yeah. On to the second folder, we have the YouTube. This is only three applications. You might be wondering why the actual YouTube app is not in there, and that is because I need the YouTube app to be like right there so I can just open my phone and click it. Instead of having to go in there and then look for it, it's like, oh, it's this one? No, it's that one. Not that one. Not that one. It's this one. So it's, I don't know, it saves me a couple seconds. Um, basically, YouTube capture can be useful for a lot of people. You can kind of just record videos right from your from the app and it starts to upload it right away, but you can actually edit it and stuff too, add music, trim off the ends, whatever you want to do. I don't really use it because I can always just do that from the camera app and then just go into my video editing folder and just whatever I want to do from there. Um, so you know, that's, like, that is there though. YouTube Gaming, this is basically the YouTube streaming service. It's competing with Twitch and all those other type of gaming streaming platforms, um, basically, but it is useful for me. I don't really stream um, games. The YouTube Studio app, that is basically for creators like myself. I use this one a lot more often than the other two. Basically, you can see all your analytics, you can see your revenue for the month, you can see individual videos, demographics, revenue, likes, all, all of the different uh, interactivities with the video, um, and you can actually see where your, like, demographics, so like, where your videos uh, views are actually coming from. Now this is my never use app, so if I don't use an app, I put it in here instead of deleting it. Yep, makes sense, right? Nope, it doesn't. But, so I'm just literally gonna read through this like really fast because like I don't use it. So, Kick, don't use it. It's obviously the social messaging app. Podcasts, I don't use it. I don't really watch podcasts. Um, Vine Camera, now this is what the old Vine app that everyone loved, I loved, ev stupid that they got rid of it. Um, they turned it into Vine Cam where you can just make vines and share them to other platforms. Um, stupid, but whatever. Uvu, don't use it. It's kind of like Skype tips. I know pretty much everything about iOS. I don't really need any help with that, but thank you. Um, Compass, I don't have any use for, unless for some reason I just want to see which way is north, but it's actually that way. I do know that for a fact. 
I knew that since I was like six. That is one thing I'm proud of. The wallet app I don't use because I don't have any credit cards or debit cards. So I just use cash. I'm not even yet, quite 15 yet. So yeah, that's what the old uh, videos app was where you could just watch your purchase stuff on iTunes. And I think other stuff, I don't even know. Honestly, I don't use it. The news app, I don't use it. I don't read the news. <laughs> I just look at YouTube stuff. iBooks, I have actually started to use a little bit more lately, but still, it just, I don't need it. I, it's not something that I have use for. Uh, stocks, why would I care? Um, Yelp, I don't leave reviews on Yelp. I don't, I actually sometimes do leave reviews on Google. Um, Google Maps, you can leave, leave reviews on there. Sometimes I do that. Musically, stupid app. I used to love it when I was little. Uh, cringy, cringy times. But Fujicate, now this is really stupid, but my teacher and health, I'm actually, this is a, this is my exception. I am deleting this application, guys. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone, right? Delete. Delete. Come on, go. Go, 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 go. Fast, 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 go. There we go. It was a stupid app that my teacher in eighth grade made us download. So, uh, find friends. I don't exactly get the whole point of it. It's basically where you can share your location with people, but you can do that through the text message app, so I don't know why that's a thing. But, you know, I don't use it. So, contacts, I don't use it because I can just get my contacts through my phone app and FaceTime app and messages app. So, feedback. I should because I'm a beta tester. I should use it, but I don't. Battle for CP, Cedar Point, it's a roller coaster park. Look it up online. It's a really cool place. I live relatively close to it. It's kind of a fun game, but you can only use it when you're in the park, so, you know, that's why it's never used. But I am actually going to Cedar Point in a few days, so, woo! I'll use it then. Utilities. Now, this is a big folder. I mean, I think at least six pages of apps in this folder. Uh, TAC, this is kind of like a thing where you can. It's kind of like a PowerPoint type thing, but it's really unique. You can add a lot of things to it. I used it last year for history class a little bit, um, and yeah, it's for like school and stuff. So Amazon Alexa, don't really use it very much, but you know, you can basically talk to Alexa on here. Dave & Buster's Charger, this is where you can see your Dave & Buster's, um, this is where you can see all your points on your Dave & Buster's card. It's actually very, very cool. I love it. Uh, WIFO, this is kind of like a Wi-Fi sharing. You can just share files through your Wi-Fi network to your computer, but I don't really use it anymore. I used it for a few months there, um, but I just use AirDrop now. It's a lot easier. Uh, the Watch app, I have a Fitbit. I don't have a lot. Apple Watch, um, you know, maybe eventually. Calculator, I use that a lot, but usually I just swipe up and the calculator's right there, but I'm not going to because it's going to crash my phone with the Beta 5. Stupid beta 5. A clip bar, this is kind of cool. I don't really get it, but basically, it's allegedly supposed to like go around your room and look at everything and it's supposed to tell what it is. It's kind of cool. This is actually the dictionary.com app. I don't use it very much, but my mom wants me to, but I don't. I just look it up on Google. Uh, the remind app, this is very useful. So basically, uh, all my teachers at school give us their remind code and what it is is you can get text messages and remind notifications when new homework assignments are coming up. Very useful. Uh, musician's kit, it's a metronome and tuner. Uh, useful for when I'm in band and I need a tune and I don't have my tuner with me, which I never do. I don't bring it to school, I just use my app. Um, it's kind of like a flashcard studying type thing. I actually use a lot for Spanish typically. Uh, the weather channel I don't use, I just use the weather app. I twinkle light. This is really cool. So during the Christmas season, we have our Christmas tree out, and that is it's actually a Bluetooth tree. Through this app, I can change the lights. I can synchronize music to our tree. It's super cool. I can put patterns on. Pretty cool stuff. Photo math. This is like stupid because it doesn't work. But when I was in Algebra One two years ago, it literally did my homework for me every night. Huntington. This is like my savings account. I can see that stuff on there. I'm actually not going to get into that. Um, the speed test, this is kind of cool basically, so I'm always complaining to my mom that the Wi-Fi is crappy even though I'm like five foot away from the router, or like maybe like four and a half foot away from the router. It's in my room, I'm actually very blessed with that. I can kind of see the speed of our Wi-Fi at the time. Um, Safe Kids, this is actually an ironically downloaded thing. I don't have it installed on my phone. If I delete it, um, nothing will happen because I don't have it set up but I'm making fun of my friend because he had to get it downloaded on his phone. I was weak. Um, but yeah. Kindle. 
I sometimes use this, but typically if, when I want to read a book, I just have my Kindle with me. I, I don't really need the app, you know, but it does save through the cloud, so if I want to read a book on my Kindle, I can pick it right back up on, on here. It's kind of like iBooks. Swipe. Now this is kind of useful, but I never actually have the time to go in and change the keyboard. But basically what this app does is you can actually just, instead of typing out like like boring people, you can just actually swipe. Hey, how are you doing? And I used to use it a lot more a few years ago, but you know, I use it sometimes, never, more like never, yeah. Kahoot, I don't know if you guys have heard of this. Basically what this is, is your teacher makes a game basically on the computer um, and she casts up on whatever you have, a smart board or just whatever um, projector, you know. So the whole class can see it, answer the questions right from your phone and you like gain points in the game and you get a ranking and stuff. It's kind of cool. I really like it. We use it quite a bit and you can use it online for like just social things too with your friends. Uh, it doesn't have to be just school related. Uh, Social Blade, this is YouTube statistics for any channel. It's kind of invasive though because you can see anyone's statistics basically. It is a rough estimate though so it's not exact, but it's usually pretty spot on. Epson iPrint, what this does is instead of just going to, if I want to print something, instead of I want to, so let's go to iBooks and say I want to print a P, I'll just say, say I want to print a PDF, instead of just hitting share print, and then I only have like one option, which is how many copies, what printer. I can change anything I really want with the Epson iPrint app, because that's what I have as an Epson computer, and it's easier for me to print it basically through this app, so I can just copy the PDF, put it in there. Easier. Cortana, this is Microsoft's uh, voice assistant, and nobody really cares about at this point, but basically it's with Windows 10, and they have an app, so I just downloaded it for no reason, why not? Clock is basically just, uh, it has basically everything you need in there, your alarm, um, alarm, timer, stopwatch, all the stuff, um, and just a world clock and stuff, so yeah, kind of cool, but, you know, I don't typically open the app to do that, I just use the control center, and I got, you know, my alarm, timer, whatever, uh, right there. The health app, whoops, gone, uh, okay, there we go. The health app, it has basically the insights of your day, uh, how many steps you've walked, how many flights you've climbed, how many calories you've burned, but that is easier for me to access through my Fitbit app, so, yep, a little bit easier there, but, you know, that is the health app, in case I want it. Tiny scanner, this is really cool. All it is is basically, you have a piece of paper, you can just scan it, it just holds it there for a few seconds. It kind of takes a picture, but it also takes a few, like, I don't know what else it does. Uh, you can kind of crop it and just, like, enhance it a little bit. And it's basically a PDF. Architecture of radio, this is really unique. I don't know why I downloaded this app. I was kind of getting, I was kind of interested to see where in, like, it kind of basically just picks up on, tell it's kind of annoying the audio, but you can see all that over there is radio waves. You can literally see radio waves. It's kind of cool. And you can see Wi-Fi routers. Now, if you see that little red dot, right, you guys can't, I don't know, my finger points to it, but right next to unknown carrier right there, you can see a little red dash. That's actually our Wi-Fi router. It's picking up on that. It's kind of unique. It's a $4 app, I think. But it, it, I don't know if it's exactly precise or if they're just kind of making it up. But they did get the Wi-Fi router part right, so I don't know. Now I know there was kind of some echo there, because I, sh I shouldn't be my computer. There we go. Alright, so geocaching. Basically, uh, this is a thing I used to use when I was a little younger. But um, it's kind of cool. Uh, what it is, is in it basically is a GPS thing. And different things throughout the world are hidden. Like, in real life. It's kind of like Pokemon Go, if you think about it. But it's real life, so basically it's just like a little Tupperware box, and it says geocache, and you have a little knickknack in there, it's usually like a quarter, or like a pencil, or something. One time I got like, five bucks from it, I guess, it's kind of cool, and what it is, is you take that out, and you put something else in, and you write your name on there, and it's kind of cool. You can see where all the different geocaches are, I'm not going to put my location on, so I'm not going to open it up. Family based, this is where I can see how much data I've used for the month, and I can my mom can actually change it from her phone on the Family Base app, so it's kind of useful uh, for us. CIF keyboard, I don't know why I have it, don't even recall downloading it, but it's there, so. <laughs> Reminders, you know, I use this more on my computer because it's easier, so I'm like, 
I'm like, okay, I'm I, say I like put in a pizza in the oven. And I need like make a reminder for in 20 minutes to take it out. Whatever. Um, it's but it syncs, of course. It's an Apple app. It syncs across. Voice memos. Um, this is where I can re just record audio basically and share it on different platforms from there. Shazam. This is actually kind of like Siri. If you guys know Siri, actually does this thing. Hey Siri, what song is playing? And she listens to it. Uh, whatever song is playing outside and wherever you are, she listens to it, analyzes it, and she can tell you what song it is. It's through Shazam, though, so I have that app as well. And you can actually just 3D touch on that and Shazam now. It starts doing it before it even opens the app. It's kind of cool. Um, allow, but we're going to go away. Okay, there we go. Nope, nope, go back, go back, go back. All right, Notes app. You guys know what that is. It's just Notes. It syncs across my computer and my phone, so it's really useful. Maps. It's my GPS. It's what I use for GPS. It's the only thing I use for GPS. Uh, find iPhone. It's where I can actually find all my devices in my iCloud. So the weather app is basically, you know, it has all the stuff. The temperature, the forecast for the day, and that leak. The calendar app, it has the calendar. Yep, that's exactly what it has. That's all it has. Um, BetterNet. Now, this is kind of cool. It's a VPN. But it's it's. It's literally just a VPN, that's all it is. But basically it unblocks things I want to do at school and they don't let me do it, so... Documents 5, I don't use it very much anymore now that the new Files app came out. But originally this was the only way to actually get your files from your computer, or whatever, onto your phone, I don't know. And yeah, Documents 5. Kai emoji, this is kind of stupid, but all it is is, the only reason I have it is basically so that way, it, if you guys know text replacement on phones, you can just type something and it's a shortcut, basically. So if I type out IDK LOL, it gives me this really cool little thing. Hold on, why'd it go? Where'd it go away? Yeah, like, it gives me that really cool, like, thing that everyone uses, it's like a meme, but I still use it to this day. It's just so funny. Geekbench 4, I don't really know why I have it. I think I used it at one time, it was like 99 cents. As a waste of money, but basically it shows my specs in my phone. Bitmoji, it's just for Snapchat, it has my Bitmoji. Uh, Fandango, this is where I can buy movie tickets online um, and use Touch ID to like purchase it. Um, and then instead of you know having to go there and buy a ticket from the movie theater, they could be all sold out, you never know. Amazon Drive, don't use it very much, but it's I can share files through my whole family, which is like literally my sister, my mom, my brother, and me. We can all share files, you know, through there, through our Kindles, and it saves across all our devices. My Fitness Pal, don't use it. It's also one of those apps like Fujicate, whatever it's called. Um, Disney World, I used this when I was in Disney last Christmas, and it kind of had my Magic Band and stuff on there, but don't usually use it anymore. Cedar Point, this is also like Battle for CP. Uh, don't really use it unless I'm in the park. Countdown, I don't really know why I have this anymore. I can't forget. I think it was for my birthday. <laughs> but it just basically gives you notifications like 10 days until your event, whatever. Uh, my Verizon, kind of like family base. It's pretty much the same thing. Duolingo, this is where I can learn another language. I don't need to because I have school for that. I'm in Spanish too right now. Uh, Transit LAX, this was when I was meeting up with my friend Giorgio. I could actually see where he was because he was. I can actually delete that now though. It's kind of. Like, I literally don't think I will ever use that app. I promise, ever again. So that is one thing. I've deleted two apps during this video. I'm surprised. Um, but yeah, it was because he was, like, going there really fast. And he had to wait at the station for a few hours because we were late. But, you know, Apple support. If I have something wrong with my computer or my phone, I can just go on there and it opens up a chat online really fast. Very cool. Uber, most people use all the time. I don't use it because I don't have a credit card. So Fire TV, this is basically a remote for our downstairs Fire TV stick. Uh, it's a remote on my phone instead of using the remote on the actual remote. So Chrome Remote Desktop, this is so cool. So cool. Literally, I can basically access my computer from wherever I am in the world as long as it's sitting at home right here. It's really cool, guys. I mean, literally, I can do anything on my computer. I can edit from school when my computer's at home. Philips Hue, this is basically my lights in my room. They sync across with HomeKit, so I basically just have to have this app for HomeKit to work, but it's fine. iFunny, used to be very funny with, with the old memes, but now they're stupid, so not funny anymore. Files, it's basically the new iCloud Drive. 
it's incorporated into all your all your files across your computer and your phone. Power School, this is our, our new grades for this year. They've changed the, uh, it used to be Progress Book, but it's now Power School. That is it for the Utilities folder. Games, I'm literally just going to read straight through. No need in, there's no need to like explain the game, so I'm just going to read all my games. Flappy Bird, this is the original one by the way. Impossible Game, right? It's just, yeah, Impossible Game. Not Not. Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch. Pancake Game. Heads Up. Hovercraft. Fun Run 2. Mario Run. Rolling Sky. Saima FPV. Bike Race. Trivia Crack. Chess Free. Bra Button. Swing Copters. Timberman. Impossible Quiz. Papa's Freezeria. 100 Balls. Absolute RC Flight Simulator. Texting Story. Stupid App. Rover 2.0, Minecraft Pocket Edition, Glow Hockey, Agario, Slitherio, Color, S Color Switch, Sing, by Smool, Stack, Absolute RC Flight. Is that the, literally the same thing? What? Wait, Absolute Flight Simulator. Oh, Helicopter Simulator, and this one's Flight Simulator. Okay, okay. Flappy 3D, this is like Flappy Bird, but in the 3D version. Pac-Man 256, Pokemon Ghost, which is literally just a dead meme at this point. Flaky Twist, Episode, Retarded App, Dancing Line, Rap Chat, Diddy, Magic Piano, Flappy Golf 2, Smile Incorporated, Dog Whistler, Skyrim's Creator App, Hooked, Speech Jammer, Burger Game, Akinator, Battlecast. So now to the Photo Edit and Instagram folder. This is like all my photo editing stuff I've ever need and different Instagram applications. So PixArt, this is a very, this is probably one of my favorite. Um, PixArt and AVR, I'll just say, those are my favorite two um, editing applications for photos. I can just easily do it from my phone instead of doing it on my computer, which is probably like makes it a lot, look a lot nicer, but this is easier. Bubble, I think this is like a speech bubble thing where you can put speech bubbles on people or different photos. Meme Plus, it's a really cool meme application. You can make like um, caption memes, you can make top text, bottom text memes, those are cringy at this point. Photo collage, you can just, you know, put photos together. Uh, photo warp, I think this is where you can just like warp people's faces like this, this, I don't know. Um, Hyperlapse, this is by Instagram, I think it's a, see I say think, I, I say I think because I don't really use these apps very much to be honest. Um, but it's by Instagram, it's basically where you can make your videos go really fast. Followers Plus, you can get insights on your who your followers are coming from. It's analytics for Instagram, basically. The fish, this is the camera application. I know, I don't, I honestly don't use this as much as you would think. I just use Snapchat, but if I'm vlogging or something, if I have to do something on my phone, it's pretty easy. I just, it's just I don't use enough to have it on my front page, but it's pretty easy to just go like this and that, you know, right there. So, yeah, Boomerang by Instagram. Blockers is literally followers plus, it's the same thing. Cut and paste is where you can make pictures transparent from your phone. Uh, same as eraser down there. Time hop, you know that's just time hop. You can see pictures from far, long, long time ago. A long, long time ago. Repost, don't really use it. I just screenshot, crop, and repost. That's what I do. Don't really use the repost app, but speech bubble, it's kind of like uh, bubble. I think it's the same exact thing, actually. Cartoon face, it's kind of a fun app I used to use. You can make people's faces like, like look weird stuff. Um, so that folder is kind of a cringy folder, honestly. So is the games folder. I have a lot of cringy apps in there, but um, whatever. PlayStation and Nintendo, we have PlayStation Messages. This is uh, the messages thing from your PS4, like where you can message people, or PS3. You actually just do it right from your phone. It's kind of cool. Uh, Meetomo, this is a thing like way back in the day. Like, at least two years ago, I think now, maybe like a year and a half, but, um, it was cool back in the day. Just don't even worry about it at this point. It's a stupid app now. And this is the PlayStation app. You have to have this. It's where you can, you know, like, literally do anything on your PlayStation on here, except for play games. <laughs> like, it's, yeah. The Facebook app is stupid, because I don't use Facebook, but it literally just has Messenger and Facebook. It's, I don't even know why it's in a, a folder on there, but it is. Video edit, we have iMovie, CuteCut Pro. Those are both, I would say, two, the, the main two video editing things I use on my phone in case I do want to edit on my phone, Final Cut on my computer. Um, video Converter, this converts, it doesn't really work that well though, but it basically converts things from, I think, MP4 or MOV to MP4 or something, I don't know. Vaunt, this is like where you can 
I can't remember what it was, I think. It was like where, you, you know how like some memes have like top text, like LMAO who did this? It's where you can kind of do that, I'm pretty sure. Um, Garage Band is basically iMovie, but for music. Shopping, now this is a, a good folder. I like this folder a lot. I'm gonna kind of read straight through it because it's literally just purchasing things online, getting them shipped to you. Um, it's the Apple Store where you can purchase Apple products online, get them shipped to you. I don't think I've ever purchased something on here, but hey. Um, Dick Sporting Goods app, you know, that's sports store, sporting goods store, Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, Panera, GameStop, Best Buy, Amazon, Amazon I use probably the most often, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Aeropostale, American Eagle, eBay, yeah, so those are, you can just get things shipped to your house from those retail stores. Now the very last folder guys, streaming, basically we have Spotify, like I said, I don't use uh, radio stations, radio streaming services, but Spotify is on there. Hulu, uh, Prime Video, Netflix, all three of those are the same thing, basically. Uh, except for Prime Video actually buy stuff, and the other two are just memberships. Um, Twitch is basically like YouTube gaming, but you stream, you know, <laughs> because of no Twitches, I don't want to tell you. Uh, Amazon Music, you can see all your music you purchased through Amazon, it syncs through the cloud. So my mom buys a lot of music through Amazon, so I kind of just leech off her in that case. Um, you now, you can stream, you're just face cam, just talking. I, I don't, I watch people's streams on there, typically Jack's films, but I don't really use it. Uh, SoundCloud was cool back in the day, but now it's going downhill. Um, Periscope was the very first, and I mean very first, streaming thing from your phone. You got Instagram Live, now you got... Twitter Live, no, that, that is Periscope. Uh, Facebook Live, you got all these different live platforms now through social media, but Periscope was the original and they were made by Twitter. So, play music, you can, this has all my mom's music on here, so I, I don't know if you guys, you saw, like I said, Amazon Music and Play Music, I get all my mom's music, I don't buy their, buy music on there, but she does, and it saves through the cloud so I can get all of her music. Live.me is exactly like um, you now, basically, but, uh, yeah, you just live stream yourself talking to your fans, but I just do that on YouTube. So, yes, guys, that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and end it on here. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was extremely long and drawn out and stuff, but if you guys did watch the whole thing, which I doubt you did, thank you very much. Stay tuned for the next tech video or whatever we do next. I don't really know. My mouth is really dry. I need to go drink like 10 bottles of water. I just said like a million and a half words in this video. But anyways guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. We can cross off what's on my iPhone after we edit this and upload it. I will see you guys next video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and don't forget to peace out.